God is saying, Dear son, open your heart and pay close attention, because what I'm going to say is very important for your life and the lives of your loved ones. In the next few hours, your family is in great danger because of a bad force. Evil is planning something terrible to happen if you don't listen to this warning. If you don't believe it, bad things could happen. The angels are greatly worried about you this week because the danger to your money is real. Someone you trust is. This person is planning to steal what is yours and is interested in your money. This person is closer because the enemy has planted envy in their heart. Then you think if you don't stay away from him, you could spend the rest of your life feeling bad about it, and nothing will work out as long as this bad energy is there to mess up your good events. To start, be thankful for the gift of life and the chance to start over. God tells us to turn away from all of your sins so that your life will be full of happiness and so that you are feel free from all chains of bad things and don't forget to live a life of peace and victory. The angels are very scared because something bad tried to get in. Your house a long time ago and the ghost of death is also trying to find the first place in your life where it all began. If you want to stay safe, listen to this message comment 82 to show that you won't give up even though you've lost and will keep going. God has a plan for your life and it will all work out if you fight. I swear before him that you will follow the road and complete the mission he has set out for you. You said, Beloved son, I need you to understand how important I am. I've tried to let you know about several things before, so this isn't the first time. Several times through dreams and signs, I tried to see if the risks were coming, but you didn't pay attention. I sent you messages in a number of ways, but you closed your eyes and ears when you felt that pain in your chest. I was trying to get your attention when you were feeling alone and lost. That was my signal for you to look at me. I tried to get you to stop and think about the problems you were having lately. I talked to you through the words of close friends along the road you were taking, but you didn't listen. I put angels around you because I thought those worries were just false. Protect and lead you, but your heart was hard, and you didn't want them to. Now pay attention. I'm going to ask you again to listen with all your heart. Time is running out. I want to keep you safe because the threat is real and getting closer than ever. Out of this storm. But you have to trust me and do what I say. Remember, son, that I have love for you has always been there for you, even when you didn't know it. I am reaching out to you and giving you an unconditional and forever chance to change the direction of your life and avoid the tragedy. Please listen to my voice and follow it. Your faith will help you get through it. Getting through these tough times, believe me, I'm your dad and I want what's best for together. You and I can get through anything and turn this darkness into light. Now is the time to act. Don't keep ignoring my advice. If you want to find peace, open your heart and listen to what I say. Safety. I've always been with you and always will be. Soon, you will be going through one of the worst times in your life. Life. You can only get through these problems if you have the strength and the guts to face them until the end. The enemy is trying to get to you. There's been a lot of stress in your family. You need to be ready so you're not caught off guard. Your life is very likely to end badly, but you also have the chance to live one of the best stages of your life. But if you don't pay attention to this, it can all be taken away. Message The angels want you to know about a fake love that's in your life. It's important for you to know the truth, 
because it can change your life and stop you from being hurt by someone who is jealous and only wants to make you unhappy. Happy God now tells you that someone wants to get back at you if you're not ready for this time, and it could cause a lot of trouble in your life. This person is ready. They will hurt you a lot if you don't listen to this word with faith. It's too late now to fix all the problems in your life that will stay in the past, and you're almost there with a steady life. Success over all the pain you've been through and turning it into money success. Your enemy is trying to surprise you by taking advantage of your mom's weakness. And this could happen this week. Stay alert to keep yourself safe from all say something bad. I believe in the Lord. The angels are warning you about an upcoming. There is someone close to you, maybe someone you've known since youth, who wants to. It is important to stay away from people who will hurt your goals and your home. Get away from people who only want to see you hurt and let go of everything. The bad emotions and guilt that try to get into your heart because they only God tells you to get rid of things that weaken you and stop you from having a full life. If someone takes advantage of your bad times, leave a comment now to show that there is a new phase of glory coming your way, and the angels are scared. A woman trying to put your safety at risk if you don't take strong action can go badly. Satan is trying to hurt your finances and ruin a great project you've worked hard on if you don't make the right choice. This could lead to a big disaster, so please tell me now, so that God protects you and helps you get through this tough time, the angels let you know. About the false preachers who are out there and want to make your life hard. Don't hang out with those people. They'll hurt your faith. Stay away from them so you can fully live your dreams. Having a family member spy on you, which may come as a surprise since you never no one in your family would have been brave enough to defame you and hurt your image. Your enemy has a crazy plan to fire you and make your life miserable. God is telling you right now that this person who says they are your friend is out to get you and ruin your life. Stay away from him so he doesn't ruin your happiness. Right now so that God may bless you with many years of health and peace and wealth. Satan has used his wrath to get back at you. Planning to destroy God will free you from this trap the angels are setting for you. Letting you know they're there, ready to help you move on to the next stage of happiness and lightness. Get ready to get through this tough time and do. God is telling you not to let anyone take away your joy. Put limits on your life. Don't pay attention to those people, so the angels want you to keep your faith in God, even though your faith has been tested. Values. Because this road can be hard and lonely, even in the worst times, but it will make you happy and at peace. Comment now to light the way. Your way and create new chances for success and happiness in your life. My son. Remember that running away is not the answer. To be agents of change, we sometimes find ourselves in tough positions. Being there can change not only your life, but also the lives of those around you. You. The angels tell you to try new things and look for knowledge in. When you have to make a choice, God is with you giving you power and protection against the attacks from the enemy. Treat every day like a gift and look for ways to be thankful in the little things that strengthen the ties that make your life better, my beloved son. I still have a lot to give you. There's more to say. This message is long, but every word is very important for your life and future. Please keep reading with an open heart. The problems you've been having lately have not been. It was just a coincidence that I tried to get you to stop and think about the way. Following what I said to you through the words of people who love you, but you I ignored them because I thought they were false worries. 
Now I'm here again asking you to listen and open your heart right now. The fear is real. Now more than ever, I want to keep you safe and lead you out of this storm. But you have to trust me and do what I say. Minds, you're about to go through one of the hardest times in your life. A time that can bring a lot of sadness and pain, but also a chance for the enemy is planning on growth and change. Against you, trying to cause your family a lot of pain and damage the most. What you need to do is be safe, but don't be afraid, because I'm with you. That everything happens for a reason. The hard times you're going through are, I let you go through things that will help you grow in your faith and character. These problems so that you can learn and grow. More powerful, but you're not going through this journey by yourself. I'm with you and will help you. The angels watch over you and tell you about a person at all times. Bad person in your life because they are jealous of you and want what you have. He's taking advantage of your kindness and trust to make you sad. Manipulating you and making you suffer, it's time to wake up and figure out who your real friends are and who your real enemies are. Stay away from this person. Son, before he does more damage to your life, know that your worth does. Your worth doesn't come from things or other people's opinions. It comes from don't let anyone change who you are in your heart and in your faith. Not feel good enough or unable. I made you with a special. You were born with a reason and a special mission in this life. Don't let problems or bad people get in the way of it. I know there are people who want to get in the way of the path I've set out for you. It's hard, and you may feel like giving up. But I want you to know that in When I'm With You, even in the darkest times, my light never goes out. It looks like everything around you is dark. Take my hand and trust me. I believe that with your help, we can get through any problem. There is a great plan for your life, a plan for real happiness and wealth. But to get there, you have to pay attention to the signs and do what I say. You need to have faith. Have confidence and stick with it. Don't give up. Hit by the things that stand in your way, they're there to test you, and I want you to know that I'm sending my angels to protect you to help you stay strong. Are with you, leading you and protecting you from evil, but you have to be ready to accept this help. Pay attention to the signs and act on them. If you don't pay attention to the signs and tips, you could end up hurt or unsuccessful. Depend on how well you can listen and follow my instructions. I know that you may feel alone sometimes, but I want you to remember that you are never alone. I've always been with you and always will be, even when it seems like I'm not. There are many people who are against you, but I will always keep my promises. There will always be love between us. Don't let fear or doubt stop you. Satan is trying to get you to pay attention to the bad things going on around you more than ever. Bring you down by using other people and events to sway you from your path, but you're stronger than you think. You have my strength inside you, and it will help you fight any temptation. It's that you keep your, keep your faith strong and your mind clear. Don't let anyone carry you away. Get away from sadness or anger and instead look for peace in my love and presence. Really think about what I've said, pray, and let my spirit lead you. As I work on something wonderful for you, know that a great gift is coming your way. The way something will change your life in ways you can't imagine it, but you have to be ready to receive it. You have to clean your heart of all the bad things and be ready for the new. Get rid of everything that holds you back. You to the past and get rid of your shame, fear, and old. 
In your pain, look to the future with hope and faith. I'm opening new doors for giving you chances that will lead to a higher level of happiness, and being happy today is a chance to start over. Today is a new day, and you can do things. Yesterday doesn't matter. You can choose love instead of hate, hope instead of despair, and faith instead of doubt. If you make these decisions instead of being afraid, you will be building a bright future full of possibilities. I love you and want you to know it. Without conditions, my love for you is huge and will last forever. Can do to lessen that love. I will be with you every step of the way and lead you, and keep you safe. Trust me, and everything will be fine. Okay? Now leave a message to show that you believe in this and are committed to it. Message. Say that you're ready for a new step and ready to get through everything. The tough times and win the prize I promised you. Always remember that you are strong. You can do it. You're loved. And I'll help you. You can do anything. Just write 9090 to break the chains of sadness and sorrow. Every weight of your disappointment weighs on your spirit, and SWS has doubts about my truthfulness. Will be taken away, and the fake friends who push you to fail will go away. One day a miracle will happen if you choose to follow. My angels are telling you to get knowledge and advice from people on that path. Trained medical experts, and to put their faith in God advice. Keep in mind that the right amount of physical and spiritual care is important to deal with any problem with honor and strength. God says that worrying. Thinking too much about the future is a weight that you don't need to carry. That we're only meant to carry the weight of today, remember that every day is different. Stress, and that trusting me is the key to a stress-free life. About what's to come, WR555, to find the way that's waiting for you. This series of numbers is the key to reviving and changing everything about. I can change the bad things in your life that are hiding in the dark. Into victories that open up new options and raise the level of your skill. Recognizing your talent and making sure that all of your hard work pays off in claiming that the angels tell you that you are worried too. They tell you to enjoy the present more when you think about what will happen in the future. Live in the present and make the most of every chance and event that comes your way. Instead of being afraid of what tomorrow will bring, life is made up of the present and worrying about the future is a bad way to waste them. It's a sad story, but my son remembers that joy comes from even small things, like laughing with a friend or watching the sunset. These are the kinds of times that make a book that touches the heart worth reading. The crown of life, value, and gather these treasures as they shine light on the path and make your soul stronger. The angels are telling you to live lightly. With hope, know that even though our time on earth is over, the spirit will last forever. So we shouldn't live in fear, but with joyful hope of everything that will happen in this life and the next. The angels say that every day is a blank slate and a chance to make something new. Something that was different from the day before, they suggest that we adopt a taking a proactive attitude to life and always looking for new ways to improve our comments on deeds and thoughts. 4444, to get rid of the sadness and hopelessness that are getting in the way. Every tear of sadness that hides your happiness and makes me doubt my loyalty will be cut off from dishonest ties that could ruin you. Get ready, because a wonderful miracle will happen if you do what I say. God tells you to warn people that he has endless patience and that he's always willing to help people who want to make changes. There's no shame in failure. Not trying is what makes you weak. 
God is always with you, giving you power. Wisdom for every new start, the angels stress the importance of having friends and family who care about you and understand your problems. I think you should hang out with happy and inspiring people because this is both a bomb for the spirit and a shield against false claims. That can come from choices that don't work out. WR6565 to light your way with promises of success and happiness. I boost and renew your way, turning every challenge into a climb the success ladder and get ready for a future full of growth and wealth where your action will be crowned with success and your creativity will shine, drawing people to you. My son, as you think about your future, I wish you unmatched chances and lasting prosperity. When choosing a partner, keep in mind that every choice you make about who to let into your, choose how you want your life to go along with your spiritual growth. Shadows, not lights, so back them up instead of criticizing them and love them instead. It will make your life better and calm your heart if you deal with disagreement in this way, God has told me to warn you that those who fight for truth and justice, even when things go badly, will be rewarded greatly. In these cases, the harvest from work done in dry areas is often sweeter things that come from putting in more time and effort. God sees and knows the angels tell people with hearts that don't give up good that a diagnosis doesn't mean define who you are or what will happen to you. They tell you to look beyond your current situation and to keep your hope alive by telling yourself that problems often teach us important lessons and give us a new view on. In real life, my son knows that even though hearing that someone is sick can be scary, you are not alone on this path. Family, friends, and religious people. Community and friends are important resources that can give you love and a shoulder to lean on. To cling to during the hardest times, write 7777. To end the hopelessness and sadness that keep you locked up every day. The weight of sadness that presses down on you and makes you doubt my words will be. Getting rid of false ties that bring you down will disappear from your if you do what I say, a miracle will happen in your life. God told me to warn you that you have the power to reject fear and that you are capable of. You won't give up or lose because of his word and the seal of your spirit. Use this power to keep your mind clear and your heart on the task at hand. In truth, son, it's important that you develop mental peace which is a strong way to fight fear not, for the peace that comes from God goes beyond all knowledge and keeps your thoughts and hearts in Christ Jesus, and this peace reason stays the same. And fear has no place to go. 3333. These numbers are the magic that will open up new options for you today. Formula that turns bottles into victories and walls into entrances, so I promise you a steady flow of success through this process. Victories and Joy The gift of your work will not only grow, but it will also motivate and make everyone around you feel good about celebrating your adding to your creativity and originality. God told me to tell you that whenever someone has lost their way, he always shows them the way back. It doesn't matter how bad the choice is. Redemption is always possible through genuine forgiveness and the look for God's kindness, because my Son is with you. It is important to know that evil forces are choosing a road full of shadows and unknowns. The risks of this choice and ask God for the knowledge and direction you need can give the angels stress that life is a flow of worries too much about things that are uncertain and have an endless number of possible outcomes. The future can close off doors to fresh chances that are just ready to be found.
I want to tell you to keep your heart and mind open to the shocks that every day brings a new lesson and gift. My son learns to be patient, have hope, not worry, and know that every worry you letting God have a chance to show his love and power in your life by, when you let go of your fear of the unknown, God can lead you to a, a future full of hopes and plans that will free you from the problems that accompany excessive fear. My son, as you keep going with this road of trust and commitment, keep in mind that real strength lies in how willing you are to let me into your heart and let me lead you. Steps. And when you think the problems are too big, know that I am always here for you at your side, giving you my unwavering love and endless knowledge, believe me, and you'll see how things that seemed impossible before will become possible, should be turned into chances to grow and change in every task. There is an important lesson to learn. Face every challenge with hope and courage. Being aware that I am always here to help and boost you, Angels help you remember how important it is to keep a happy heart. It is an effective way to change how we see the world by shedding light on it. Be thankful for the little things that make each day better, even when things are the worst. Being thankful for the people who love you and the gift of life will help you see the world with fresh eyes and open doors to even more gifts. My son, as you face the unknowns of the future, keep your eyes on, keep your faith strong, and don't worry about things you can't change. Instead, commit yourself to living each day with honesty, love, and a sense of purpose. Trust that I am putting together a happiness for you, even when you can't see the whole picture. Picture WR222222 to get your heart to follow my will. Remember to let peace come into your life. This number order will help you do that. That by getting in touch with me, you will get help and strength to get through any problem. My peace is a present I give you, a peace that can't be broken and keeps your heart safe. Remember, my son, that life is a gift that you should not waste. Don't let your fears take away your joy. Instead, pray to me and let me carry your worries. I will give you rest and make you stronger every day. It is in chance to begin something new, learn something new, and grow in love. Wise trust me, son. I know you better than anyone else I know you're. I'm here to help you every step of the way with your goals, dreams, and fears. By the way, You've never been alone, and never will be. I love you. I promise to love you forever and always, and I care about your health and happiness. Son, when you feel alone or hopeless, know that I am here for you. Always remember that I am your safe place and your power. Pray to me and let my love fill your heart. Let my love wrap around you and comfort you. In me, you will find that you need peace and courage to face any task right now, 3030, to make your hope and refresh your spirit. This string of numbers is a reminder that if you align yourself with me, anything is possible. My power is yours. Strength and know that my love for you will always be there for you, my son. Knowing that I am with you every step of the way, you can do it. Get through any problem and enjoy every victory. Trust me and give in to my take care of yourself and know that you are always safe in my loving arms. I bless you today and always with all my kindness and infinite Isaiah 41.10 says, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be afraid, because I am your God, and I will hold you up with my upright right hand to strengthen and help you. This verse sends a strong word of comfort and hope. 
God is saying that we have nothing to worry about because He is always with us. When God says, Do not faint, He means that you will be safe and protected, is telling us not to give up when things get hard. God is committed to helping us, supporting us, and reassuring us that no matter what, because of the situation He is with us giving us everything we need to getting through hard times. This verse tells us that we can trust God completely because He is fair and keeps all of His vows. Let us pray last prayer together. Lord God Almighty, You made heaven and earth. I'm writing to You today with a heart full of thank You for all the good things You do and the love You give me no matter what. Because You're always in my life, I will always be grateful for all the good things that happen. You give me for every lesson you teach me and every peaceful time that you give me, Holy Father. I know I often have problems that seem overwhelming and that the path of worries can be too much to handle, but today I gave up all of mine. I believe that you will always be there for me when I have worries, fears, and unknowns with me to help me get stronger and show me the way I trust that you will keep me safe and help me get through this life. Any problem, Lord, I ask you to fill my mind with your divine knowledge and help me. Make smart choices and always stay on the path you've set out for me. Give me the strength to resist as I seek your will and live by your lessons, and to keep my faith strong even when life is rough. Please forgive me, God. Please bless my family and friends so that we can all feel your presence. And peace in our souls, keep us safe from all harm, and lead us with your light that we may be a way for your love and goodness to reach others. I also ask that you have hope for everyone we meet. Help me feel thankful that I can see and appreciate the little things. Daily gifts, and simple joys that make my life better. Life. Teach me to be thankful all the time. Having trouble understanding that every task is a chance to grow, and Lord, I believe that you will never leave me, as you said you would. That even when I feel alone or hopeless, you are with me and holding my hand. Take my hand and lead me along the road of life. Help me feel your presence, that I can put all my trust in your love and good fortune, God. Peace that comes from you, a peace that I can't even begin to understand. Get comfort in your love and trust that you will always be there for me. Protected by your peace, which takes away all fear, worry. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your endless kindness and forgiving me. Please forgive me if I fail many times, but please give me a second chance, chance to learn from my mistakes and always grow in my faith to become a better person and get closer to you, Lord. Thank you for the thank you community of faith, for the encouraging and positive people you've put in my life who can help me, for them and for me so that we can grow in faith, love, and service to help each other stay on your road. And finally, God, I give you my putting my future in your hands. I know you have plans for peace and wealth for plans to give me hope and a future. Please help me trust your path and know that you are always by my side. Walk with courage and hope. Take my side in the name of your loving Son, Jesus, who lives and rules with you. One God now with the Holy Spirit always, amen. Stay strong and secure in your belief that you are important and amazing no matter what other people say. As you walk this road on earth, remember that your tenacity is more than a thread. It shows how strong I have made you. Challenges are chances to grow, and mistakes are stepping stones. Ways to be successful. 
Don't give up when things get hard. You have what it takes. You should be able to learn from your mistakes and come out better on the other side. No longer let the arena's efforts to define you by outside standards make you sad. I'm here with you, leading you through the storm with the light of my love that never changes. I will tell you that the real signs of your health are how happy you are and how much you love your baby. The plan for your future, if you find me while you're still sick and thinking about your beloved child more than just the boardroom and business reports. It's about the lives you change and the hearts you touch. The gifts I give you are knowledge, bravery, and wisdom. May your road be lined with the tender kisses of love, and may your spirit bloom like a lovely flower, spreading its charming light over the whole world. You must know all your life that I love and care for you, little one. As a measure, if you listen to your inner voice, you will find your true calling in life. Bring the power of a powerful wand to your goals, and may their melodies match the divine beat. This Advent, let your thoughts be like a wish arrow that cuts through the fog of doubt to show you the way to your beloved child. The key to success is to follow your heart's wish. In your mind, picture a haven of endless possibilities. Go ahead and sign the guarantee. Even if I'm not the only one, may the power of creative thought help as your north star that guides you to the shores of victory and happiness. Stay close to me while you figure out the complexities of lifestyles for a stronger result. May your cause also be the North Star that leads you through the vast seas of chance. Gratitude may be your constant friend, my little baby, with a heart full of thanks. Remember all the good things in your life because being thankful is the key to unlocking the gates of plenty. Your goal of getting an expensive child isn't always the end, but rather a Journey a path where the future is a dance and the present is a precious meeting. These words made me happy. The much-loved baby is a spiritual revelation that can't be put into words. Would it be possible for your passion for great thinking to also be what drives you to reach your... If you want to go even further, may you think about leaving a memory that lasts the short-lived wealth of this world, my sweetheart. I want you to feel the embrace of my love, a love that knows no limits. The quiet parts of your heart, I beg you, my dear child, when dawn. When the dawn breaks and the sun comes up, pay close attention to the sound of purpose in your heart. I'm here to help you through everything, no matter how hard life gets. I'll share your happiness when you're happy. If you want to achieve, don't let the problems you may face get you down. In every endeavor, there is millionaire's ideas that aren't formed in a vacuum. They're shaped by the same things that other people think and do. Challenges that look for dark spots should value the private times they may hold. To get past problems and find the strength to keep going when things get tough, never lose sight of the unencouraging story about a poor woodworker kid who, despite being laughed at by his peers, turned the trouble into a chance to share the message of forgiveness and love, even though they were facing. Even though he faced many problems along the way, his unwavering faith and will won over many people. Born again, may this story serve as a reminder of how strong you are. Think about the smart people who lived in the past. The records are full of the names of people who rose from the ashes, of failing and turning those mistakes into the fuel that drove them to great success at Sioux. They took on problems like a sculptor would a tool, turning them into strong works of art. Yes, 
You have the power to change people's lives in the business and money worlds if you work hard enough. It's a matter of wealth that people who have a lot of money now look at it. As proof of their ability to cross rough water, they stopped running, away from bad situations and started welcoming them for what they could do. May encourage you to see the good in every cloud and not see the problems you face as problems. Chances for personal growth and enlightenment, my little one, if you... If you believe in getting through tough situations, you won't hide in fear. Instead, you'll be strong in the knowledge that I have given you the power to beat. The hard things that happen to you will make you into the person I have always imagined you to be. They weren't meant to break you. They were meant to make you who you are. Journey because fragile people are made in the furnaces of hardship. According to the story, each servant was given a sum of money that was proportional to their skills. Competencies. You too have special skills and abilities that God has given you. Don't bury them in spread doubt and confusion on the good soil of chance if you want to plant the, you need to go a long way to plant the seeds of success and new ideas. You shouldn't be afraid of the unknowns of fate. Instead, you should welcome them with a desire to learn and grow. Magic is shown instead of a strict road. My little one's reason is, and the choices you make, and the challenges you overcome will set you on an exciting journey of learning. The stars that shine at night are a warning that there are a lot of chances to do great things. No longer be afraid to dream big, even if things go wrong along the way. Because your hopes and dreams are what will lead you to your future, let them guide you. As a beacon, light a fire of determination that not even a typhoon can put out. At its core, a billionaire's mind is a safe place for ideas and causes, which are what make you who you are. Source of wealth. May humility, kindness, and love be the building blocks of your great as you gain knowledge and money, my sweet little one. Pay attention. The time has come to welcome problems not as foes, but as friends on your journey. Your future isn't a fixed place. It's a journey that's always changing. People who have the chance to grow and change can learn from the events of there are stories about people who have gone before you, and following their lead is more than just reading them. Win over problems, my dearly beloved toddler. I pray that you are stronger. Spirit, mind, and heart. Be strong and brave, because I weave the bright into the everyday, my sweetheart. In all the chaos, it's easy to lose sight of the beauty in our gift. Earthly Pursuits A billionaire doesn't always want to make more money. Instead, they enjoy each moment for what it is, knowing that the present is where their cause is painted, and that the gift your soul will give you is living in the moment, free from the weight of the past and the unknowns of the future. Thrive when you pay attention to the sound and the present just like a billionaire's mind does when working on a trendy project. Training your mind to be fully present in the picture of the future is the key to opening the doors to your future. Right now, and I beg you to do just that, start a journey of personal growth leads to self-discovery. Pay attention to the wind blowing on your face and the stones under your feet. Think like a billionaire as you walk in this direction with your feet flat on the ground. I hope that as you aim for greatness and grow as a generous person, these traits will help you get there. As signs of a well-lived life in the peace of your heart, my little one, pay attention to the timeless echoes. You're not just a matter of luck. You're a work of art. For a bigger reason, Everything I've set up in this mansion is based on the struggles and successes of the present time.
Live it to the fullest. Don't rush through life. Take your time and sip it slowly, like a good wine. That's how you'll find the subtleties of its flavor. Holy Spirit's help at the forks in your life's path, the billionaire's thoughts gently push you toward righteousness, means that the person is aware of moral issues and knows that real wealth does not come at the cost of honesty, love, justice, and humility should also be the things that you build your life on. Build your empire, my sweetheart, and find a reason that fits with your heart by doing things because you want to help other people. In a world that can feel so dark at times, your presence is like a ray of light. You are strong. Be brave in the face of trouble, just like a billionaire's thoughts aren't always moved by fear but by faith. Just like my windfall, you will face life's storms with calm acceptance. Has to be strong, love each other, and keep a clear head. I haven't given up. You have a spirit of fear. Those things aren't problems. They're just stepping stones to bigger and better things. Don't become strong until you've learned from your mistakes as you go up. My sweetheart, know that the deep wells of my love are drawing power from you. The scent of peace, the sounds of purpose, and the blooms of joy may all shine a light on your path and be there for you as you walk. Show you the way and reassure you with a soft whisper in your ear. Be in the current moment and enjoy it my beloved, because that's where you'll find the fullness of life and the great reason you were born. Created to go after your dreams without fear, because you are a lucky, engaged, and loved baby, I am both the beginning and the end. Self-reflection is the key to getting to the limitless potential I gave you, my beloved, Things that can change the business have been believe in the strength that I have given you. I have shaped you in my image, and you are meant for true wealth, greatness, and love, my darling, are not found in things. Instead, the billionaire should look for treasures that will last forever and bring him a lot of money. He feels love, kindness, and generosity in his heart, even though things are hard a normal part of the way to reason, but don't worry. I'll always be by your side. Keep your faith. Strong for every test is a chance to learn and get better. Keep in mind that your, your unique traits will shine through, just like gold does after going through the fires that make it pure. Challenges. Pay attention to the seeds you plant. One day they might grow into fruit. If you take care of your relationships like gardens with kindness and knowledge, you will see the flowers of connection grow. Grow every time you meet someone new. It's more than just a chance meeting. It's a chance to make a holy bond where the effects of your kindness will last forever. Keep an eye out for the glittering false hopes of praise from the world. What you really want is the approval that comes from living a loving and honest life. Your deeds speak louder than words, my sweetheart. I pray that your success will show how much kindness you have. If you look deeper, you'll see a deeper reason that's just waiting to be found. The language of your heart may tell you more about your calling than the boardrooms or the halls of power. Pay close attention to the, if you use your reason, it might not be a loud proclamation anymore, but rather a soft push or nudge that gets you to do something, moves you closer to your fate, look for times to be alone and think. Come with me, because the stillness is where you'll find the focus you need to check out the road I've mapped out for you. Know this. You are more than just a traveler through time. You are a beloved child with endless potential for greatness, according to my eternal plan. Please join us and share these blessings with other people. Amen. 
Jesus, please teach me how to be kind and selfless. Help me to show how much I love you by loving others the way you've asked me to. Remove bitterness, pettiness, and selfishness from me. Root my life in your love so that only loving actions become the fruit of my life. Amen. And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus, make me more like you. Please get rid of any behaviors or thought patterns that don't reflect your character or heart for people. Make me bold, brave, and courageous, but keep me humble, kind, and gentle. Let the way I live reflect your hope and love, and when the opportunity arises, help me to share my faith with genuine joy. Amen. God, even when I am facing so many troubles, you are faithful. When I am tired, overwhelmed, burnt out, grieving, your love still covers me. Thank you for showing me kindness and mercy every day. Your mercies never cease. Your steadfast love endures forever. Great is your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, make me more like you. Please remove any behaviors or thought patterns that don't reflect your character or heart for people. Make me bold, brave, and courageous, but keep me humble, kind, and gentle. Let the way I live reflect your hope and love. And when the opportunity arises, help me to share my faith with genuine joy. Amen. Father God, here I am. You know the hopes and dreams I have for the future. You know the problems I am currently facing and the struggles I've already overcome. You are with me and you are for me. Please align my will with yours as I bring my requests to you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, you are my rescuer, redeemer, comforter, and savior. You beat back darkness and declared the devil defeated. You came and rescued me, and you continue to do so. My life belongs to you, and it is because of you that I can boldly say, I am yours, and no evil will conquer me. Lord, thank you for being my safe place. I know I can talk about anything with you. I'm grateful I can confidently ask you for the things I need, seek you consistently, and ask you for things that seem impossible. You are a miracle-working God, and I am honored to trust you with my life. God, thank you for proving that nothing is impossible for you. There is no sickness you cannot heal, no disease you cannot cure, no heart you cannot hold, and no darkness you cannot drive out. You are above all things, and it is by you all things are held together. So right now, I give you thanks for all that you've done and for who you are. You alone are holy. Amen. Lord, I am grateful for the promise that I can cast my burdens upon you, knowing that you will sustain me and uphold me. I come to you with the burdens that have weighed heavy on my heart. Lord, you know the worries, the fears, the anxieties that have been troubling me. I cast them all upon you, for you are the source of my strength and my refuge. In Jesus' name, amen. God, may you be praised and glorified always. When you tell the rain to come, it does. When you declare the storm to stop, it has to obey you. When you speak, the atmosphere shifts. You alone are in control. You alone are God, and you alone are worthy of my praise. Amen. God, thank you for showing me what true love looks like. Your will has always been that the world would know you, walk with you, and love you. And it's in your presence that we find joy. Today, 
Please show me how I can take part in sharing your love with those around me. In Jesus' name, amen. God, it's when I seek you that I find you. So today, help me to intentionally draw near to you. Give me the courage to shift my attention off of my circumstances and on to you. I want to rely on you completely by coming to you first, above anything else. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Awake, awake, all ye who sleep, yet have an ear to hear. There's only one Creator God. It's Him that we must fear. Throughout the Bible's holy scripts, He demonstrates His power. Now is the time to worship Him. We're in the judgment hour. The mystery of Babylon to us has been revealed, and those who dare refuse her mark will soon receive God's seal. God made His holy Sabbath day for worship and for rest. The day we choose to worship on will be the final test come out of her, ye called of God. Partake not of her sins, and you'll receive the crown of life. When Jesus comes again, you've heard the voice of God's loud cry, and now it's up to you. There's a land far away where our hearts yearn to be, a land without sorrow or tears where Christ went away to prepare us a place. Praise God, His soon coming is near. There's a land far away where our hearts yearn to be, a land without mourning or death, a land without signing, a land without crying, no resemblance to the land that we left. There's a land far away where the streets are pure gold and the pureness like transparent glass, with twelve gates to the city, each gate of one pearl, from the first gate on down to the last. There's a land far away where our hearts yearn to be, where the fruits of your labors are yours. No more building and planting for another to reap, for the harvest is yours evermore. There's a land far away where there is no more strife. No rebellion of any kind will there be. Only those with names written in the Lamb's book of life will this faraway land live to see, oh, how we yearn for that faraway land where no wickedness shall enter in like a deer pants for water, we long to see God. Be redeemed from this world full of sin. Jesus, we know that you are the only way to eternal life. Salvation is possible only because of your grace, mercy, and love for us. There is no one else like you. Help us to focus our attention on you and not allow distractions to overtake and discourage us from what you offer. Amen. God, in every season or situation, let your will be done. Please be glorified through my life and show me how I can honor you with my words and actions. Let everything I say and do glorify you and encourage others. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, you are faithful. Nothing is impossible for you, and nothing is too hard for you. My problems, pain, grief, and hurt, you know it all, and you carefully support me through every season. Today, I could really use your guidance. Please show me a way through the difficult situations I'm facing, and fill me with your peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. God, I am honored to represent you here on earth. Each day, help me to live a life that is pleasing to you. Please inspire every action, word, and thought I have and use them to draw others to you. I am your servant. Allow my life to be a light in the darkness. 
In Jesus' name, Amen. God, give me the strength to stand firm against the devil's tactics. Remind me that my enemies are not the people in front of me. When bad things happen, comfort me and flood my mind with truth. Do not let me forget that I belong to you and you fight for me. You are in control, and with you, I am safe. In Jesus' name, Amen. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do. Gathering together as the body of Christ is a privilege, a privilege that not everyone around the world can do safely. We shouldn't take the community for granted. Life isn't just about what we need, but also about being there for each other, to meet practical needs, to help each other grow spiritually, to pray and worship together, and to collectively invite God's presence, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. Just as hundreds of prophecies were fulfilled in the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, the rest will come to fruition on the day of His return. Rest assured, He is coming back. So let's encourage one another to stay focused. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua 1.8 NIV God gave the law to Israel through Moses. These instructions reveal God's intentions, character, and heart. And even though God was speaking directly to Joshua at that time, His advice holds timeless wisdom for us today. Reading, listening to, and thinking deeply about God's story informs and shapes us. When we meditate on His Word, study its contents, and understand its core message, everything changes. Declare that your home is peaceful and secure and is an undisturbed place of rest. Isa 32 bid 18 2. Declare that God blesses your home and everyone who dwells in it with a permanent blessing that lasts forever. Psalm 729. 3. Declare that your home is built on wisdom and understanding, and every room is filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. Prov 24.3.4 Declare that God's eyes are permanently watching over your home, and His ears are attentive to every prayer uttered in your home, because your home has been consecrated to Him. Setacron 7.15.5 Plead the blood of Jesus over your home and declare that His blood will be a sign for sickness, quarrels, tension, fear, and forms of evil to end in your home and never to return. Exo 12, 13, 6 Declare that angles are camped around your home and take care of all your property as you declare Psalm 91 over your home from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of His glorious riches He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to Him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to His power that is at work within us, to Him be glory in the Church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. God, I lift my hands in praise for Your gift of forgiveness. You have erased the mistakes of my past, present, and future, and made me new. I am in constant awe of Your amazing love and boundless grace. Thank you that nothing can separate me from your presence. I love you, Jesus. Amen.
God, I lift my hands in praise for your gift of forgiveness. You have erased the mistakes of my past, present, and future, and made me new. I am in constant awe of your amazing love and boundless grace. Thank you that nothing can separate me from your presence. I love you, Jesus. Amen. God, I lift my hands in praise for your gift of forgiveness. You have erased the mistakes of my past, present, and future, and made me new. I am in constant awe of your amazing love and boundless grace. Thank you that nothing can separate me from your presence. I love you, Jesus. Amen. God, with everything that I am, I wish to honor you. Show me how to live a life that is in line with your character. Teach me how to live a life that brings you glory. You are worthy of all my praise, attention, love, and affection. Thank you for drawing me closer to your heart. Thank you for loving me. Today, I want to honor you. Amen. Please subscribe our channel to reach 60,000 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video. Type amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.